four, three, two, one. Avionics power and telemetry nominal. We heard the old right, we heard, we heard a the tower maximum is go for credit about booster engine cut off. The return flag is set for true. Ship engine start up. Separation. All right, hot staging confirmed. Booster six out of six out. lit on the ship. Booster boost back going. We heard that we are go for catch. Six, six lit on the ship. Booster boost back going. We heard that we are go for catch. Kate, Jesse, take it the views. Hopefully, I got a booster coming home real soon. Wow, from our view here, Dan, uh, great views of planet Earth behind that super heavy booster. Right now it is performing the Ship boost back burn. Phenomenal. Good news there telling us that the uh, the pressures inside the ship are good. That is the second stage or the upper portion of the vehicle. Follow along with the telemetry on the bottom of your screen. And there on the right hand side of your screen. We'll see those grid fins. Booster offshore divert. And we can also see that the uh, hot stage has been jettisoned. Yes, visual confirmation of that there on your screen, which is great. Now the next... Starship is following a nominal trajectory. The next step for booster is going into that landing burn. Again, it'll light up 13 of those engines and then uh, pair down to three engines right before booster catch. All right, now just real quick, we did hear the call out. Uh, boost back, or excuse me, booster offshore divert. Unfortunately, that means that we are no-go for the catch. Um, as we said before, both the tower and the vehicle, as well as the operators on console have been actively evaluating the commit criteria for that return to the launch tower. Um, and unfortunately, we did not have a pass on those commit criteria. So we are no-go for tower catch. And we did mention that we're constantly evaluating the criteria for catch. There's a lot of things that need to go well in order to line that up. Unfortunately, today we will forego booster catch uh, for a soft splashdown uh, off the Gulf Coast of Texas. We can see it there re-entering. Uh, we saw earlier those grid fins. There are four hypersonic grid fins. Or we can see that the landing burn has begun on the super heavy booster. And same pattern, 13 engines will light. Gone down to three, just as we expected. And what an incredible view of splashdown that we got today. Oh, super heavy. Yeah, I'm sure the buoy cam views will be pretty <laughs> awesome once again. So we'd like to confirm a water landing once again for the super heavy booster. Congrats to the SpaceX team uh, for making that milestone as well. Now, ship continues to look good. We can see uh, that it is, while all of that was happening, <laughs> the crowd here in Hawthorne uh, continuing to react to all these amazing views that we're getting. The next milestone is... Uh, ship is in terminal guidance. Great news there. Uh, uh, Starship terminal the guidance, guidance referring what to what its capabilities are. Starship engine cutoff. And there we just heard a call out for Seco, ship engine cutoff. Great news there. Everything continuing to look awesome for ship. Full view looking aft on ship. Call out for startup. There's some light. There's that Raptor relit. And shut down. space. 
other than our ascent uh around the off the northwest coast of of australia we can see these beautiful views of planet earth coming in yeah this is very different where we had nighttime mm -hmm. views of the ship as it was re-entering and now we've got daylight it is about an hour or so after sunrise there in the indian ocean so pretty cool to see this yeah, and it might not seem like it makes a huge difference, but we do get a little bit more light on ship as well for the camera views that we have, um, which is very beneficial for us to visually see anything and try and correlate that to any of the sensors or data that we have. You hear that we do have some heating there on that looks like one of the forward flaps on Starship. This is to be expected, we knew that the vehicle uh, would perform differently than what we had seen on Flight 5. This is actually really good data. Doing a little better all the way to the end there is the flaps adjusting. Um, and we have a camera on one of the flaps there that were, that this is the view that you're seeing there. And you can also see the graphic in the bottom. Starship um, is slowing down past Mark 1. And call outs aligning with this. You can see the orientation of the vehicle starting to change. You can follow that graphic at the bottom of your screen. Um, again, that is why those flaps are changing. They control the orientation of the vehicle. Yeah, there are yeah, four. This is Go ahead, Dan. Starship has started the subsonic balance drop. Remains on a good trajectory. I was going to say, this is, this is when things will we'll start to get a little interesting. So this is when we're, we're moving slower than the speed of sound. You can see that nose slowly start to tip down uh, and we're gonna try and maintain flap control the whole way. But we are just, just a couple minutes away from hopefully doing a landing flip. Uh, landing flip and landing burn if, if uh, the flaps can hold together. Yeah, this is such a cool view. This reminds me uh, of when we first performed the belly flop maneuver on the high altitude test with serial number eight. We saw the ship come back through and I always wondered what it looked like from the ship's perspective and this perspective I think helps inform that. We will be, as Dan said, we will be dipping down a little further and really be flying nose first. Um, this higher angle of attack you know, we're intentionally doing it to stress those aft flaps and that will help inform the limits of flap control in order to collect data for future landing profiles. I mean, we're looking, we're looking good so far. We've just got about five kilometers in altitude to go. We'll, we'll ignite the engines when we're still just a couple hundred meters uh, over the ground, do that flip. Starship is passing landing. through five kilometers altitude, remains on a good trajectory. I have a feeling this is going to look so cool as it passes through the clouds. Obligatory shout out to the entire avionics team on Starship. <laughs> and there's that nose down orientation. Now the uh, Raptor engines will relight and help flip the booster back up. This is a more severe flip given the orientation. Uh, the engines will shut down prior to the water making impact, prior to the vehicle making impact with the water. Our ship is doing great so far. There's, There's those engines relighting. What a great reorientation by Starship. Wow. All three down to two into the water. Wow. And we have ship splash down in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Some awesome buoy cam action here. Daylight news. Incredible. We really pushed the limits on ship and it made it all the way back.